so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California. And I'm riding the Wonder Go Round. Woohoo! Giddy up! <laughs> Do you want to meet some of my friends? All right, let's go. This is the Dodo. Hello, Dodo. Hello, Mika. Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is the Mad Hatter. <laughs> oh, and the Griffin. I love the Griffin's purple wings. And this, I bet you recognize this animal. See those tusks? It's the walrus. Hello, walrus. Hello, Mika. <laughs> I really want to go on my own adventure. Will you come with me? All right, giddy up. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Check out this giant blue whale. This is Willie the whale to be exact. Hi, Willie the whale. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Big blue whales are really cool, and they're the biggest mammal on the planet. Whoa! Hey, Willie, do you mind if I come inside? All right, let's go. Wow! Look, there is a note inside of Willie's mouth, and it says, Mika, <laughs> that's me. Okay, <clears throat> your Storyland adventure starts here. So get up and on your feet. Use your five senses to explore Fairyland. You'll make friends and find a yummy treat. Oh, I love making new friends and I really like treats. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, five senses. That's seeing, smelling, hearing, touch, and taste. So we will see with our eyes and we'll smell with our noses and hear. Oh, can you hear any sounds? Oh. Did you hear that? <laughs> and there's taste with your mouth and touch with your hands, with your skin. Oh, this is gonna be really, really fun. I just know it. Hey, let's swim like whales on out of here. Ready? <laughs> hey, there's more water over here. Water's something fun to feel, and that's one of our senses. Okay, let's see. I wonder if the water is hot or cold. Let's touch it and find out. Whoa! It's very, very cold. Wow! But hey, that's one of our senses. I touched the water. <laughs> well, that water would not be fun for me to swim in, but a big whale would love to swim in that cold water. Can you think of other animals that like to swim in cold water? Maybe a seal? <laughs> or a walrus? <laughs> or a penguin? Let's waddle like penguins out of here and find some other things. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. Do you hear that? Quack. 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 Yeah, I hear a duck. Wow, so we used feeling and now we're using hearing. That's two senses. Do you see any ducks? <gasps> Back there on the other side of the water. I see one, two, three ducks. Hey, and they're hanging out around Rapunzel's tower. Hi, Rapunzel. See, she's at the very top and her hair's so long. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the tower. <laughs> oh, and hey, it's Mr. Todd, the fox from Tales of Beatrix Potter. Hi, it's me, Mika. Do you remember? It was a long time ago. It's okay. <laughs> oh, man, ducks are so cool. Did you know that they eat seeds and fruit and Worms. <laughs> oh, but remember, do not feed ducks without getting permission. <laughs> I'll see you later, ducks. Let's see what else we can find. Come on. Quack, quack. Hey, we already used two of our senses, 
feeling and hearing. I wonder if we can smell anything. Let's try. Actually, I smell something really good. I bet it's these flowers. Let's see. Oh yeah, they smell so good. Did you know that flowers smell good to attract pollinators like butterflies, hummingbirds, even ladybugs and bumblebees? Yeah, they're attracted to the flower, so they'll fly over and get some pollen on them and then fly to another flower and spread that pollen around, which plants more seeds, which creates more plants for all of us. So thank you, pollinators. <laughs> hey. I wonder if we can see anything. Let me go into my jam pack and get my <laughs> binoculars. <laughs> Ooh, I see a tunnel over there. Let's go check it out. Come on. Where is that tunnel? Oh, <laughs> look at that silly clock. It's going the opposite direction. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, where is the tunnel? <laughs> and I also see the white rabbit from the book Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the white rabbit is always in a hurry. And look, there's a little clock right there in its pocket. Hi, white rabbit. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Should we hop in the tunnel together? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, hop. Hey. I see giant playing cards. Seeing is another sense. We explored feeling, smelling, and hearing, and now we can explore seeing. Ooh, you wanna check out these cards with me? Come on. Whoa, I see the letter A. And do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a heart. And there's a big giant heart right there. Oh, it's like it's singing. Yes, I have a giant heart. That is so sweet. Oh, look at this one. I see the number two, that's right. And do you know what shape this is? That's a spade. Correct, Mika, that is a spade. Oh, I thank you so much. Ooh, and I see the number Four. Do you know what shape this is? It's a diamond, cool. Yes, a diamond is my favorite shape. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Whoa, I see something really cool over there. Do you wanna check it out with me? Well, let's go. Whoa, do you see what's behind me? Giant. Apples! Look, there's a red one and a green one. Oh, and this one has a worm inside. Hi, worm, it's me, Mika. <laughs> you know, red apples usually taste sweet and green apples usually taste a little sour. <gasps> hey, taste, that's the fifth sense. We explored all five senses. Oh, that means that I get a treat. Will you help me look for it? Okay, let's go. Oh, excuse me. Have you seen a treat for Mika? Something yummy you can eat like a... Mm -mm. Okay, no? All right. I found the treat. Oh, boy. Wow. It's a cupcake. Check it out. With yummy icing on it. Ooh. Oh, and a note. Let's see here. Oh, it says for Mika. <laughs> That's me. Great job exploring your five senses and finishing your adventure. Enjoy this yummy treat. Hope you had fun. Your friend Blippi. Oh, Blippi is such a great friend. He knows that I like playing games and eating yummy treats. <laughs> hey, we explored all five senses. Seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, tasting. Oh, now I get to taste the cupcake. Let's see here. Mmm, it's so good. Hey, 
We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! <laughs> what a fun day we had! We went on a really cool adventure using our five senses. Oh, thank you so much for playing and learning with me. I loved learning that the blue whale is the biggest mammal on the planet. Oh, it must take up so much space in the ocean. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you soon, bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Lab in Eagle Rock, California. There's so many different kinds of toys to play with inside. There's even dinosaur toys. <laughs> and my friend Naisha is stopping by to teach us colors in American Sign Language. Let's go. Cool, a train table. Have you ever played with toy trains before? They're so fun. Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four cars. And they're sticking together. Check it out. They're magnetic, meaning they attract to each other. See, they stick together. Whoa, look at the wheels. Let's see the colors on top of here. We have orange, black, red, and red. All right, Conductor Mika is ready to take this train on a trip. All aboard! Chugga, 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 chugga. All right, guess it's time for me to keep playing. See you later, train. <laughs> Let's go over here. This is a cool room to play in. Hey. Hello? <gasps> Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just playing with my friends. Yeah, yeah, can I call you back? Okay, bye, Grandma. <laughs> Oh, and look, there's little babies in here. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, baby. Oh, what? Oh, it's nap time. Shh, sorry. Hey, I wonder if I could climb up here. It's kind of small. Do you think I'll fit? All right, I'll try it. Hello, up here. Hi. <laughs> Hello! Oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> what? You see dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs! Whoa! These are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, rah, rah. that means hello. <laughs> Whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk, honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh. Very cool. And this one has wings so we can fly. Whoa. These dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is, the T-Rex. Rah, rah. Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine, I wanna go down the slide. Oh, <laughs> you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure, here we go. All right, are you ready? Three, two, 
One! What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say, you can do it! You got this! Okay. You can do this! You got this! Come on, T-Rex! Yeah, you did it! Oh, I'm so proud of you! Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Oh, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. See if I could build a tower as tall as me. Whoa. Okay. I have to get even taller than that. Oh, I have to have really good balance blocks. Oh, no. Come on. Taller. Taller. It has to be taller. We got to make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks. Taller and no. <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Hi, Naisha. Oh, who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with, ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye, purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this, pink. Good job. All right, bye pink. <laughs> Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> how do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B, and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? Good job, blue! Bye, blue! And this balloon is what color? Red! Nice! So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and you rub your chin like this. Red! <laughs> nice! Bye, red! Oh, yes, another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y, and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow. Good job. Bye, yellow. Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's good to see you too. And really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside, but I hope to see you two later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, cool. There are more toys in here. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, look, a little car. Uh-oh, he needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh, you can, can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you. Yep, okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. My bad, it's okay. Nice park job. Oh. 
circles. See a red circle. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> and see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend. Hello. And another orange. <gasps> hi. Oh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi. <laughs> And look, look under this other yellow one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. Oh, cool, check out these shapes. It looks like this one's missing, but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh, a triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. All right, later pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa, look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm, yellow or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow. Remember? <laughs> and orange. Orange is, yeah. Orange and purple, one of my favorites. Remember, purple, good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B, blue. Good job, that was so fun learning that today. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. We got to play with trains and dinosaurs, and blocks, and my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, okay friends, bye! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? <laughs> They're so much fun! Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air, or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> It's so fun. Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Bubbles and, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand. Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> well, I only got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan? <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa, <laughs> look how many bubbles. Hey, 
Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right. There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so many bubbles. Whoa, I'm gonna do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> do it again. Wow, that was a big bubble. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like Ooh. you did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? You wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like how about your hand? You want to try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm going to catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it a was, little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it and then they can link together. Ooh, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to 
throw one at you. Oh! You did it! You got it! I got a bubble! Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it. But I wet my hand, so I think the water is gonna like each other, <gasps> and I can put my hand inside what? your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you wanna see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this <laughs> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes, do you oh. remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm -hmm. Right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right, it's negative one, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never wanna touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here, mm -hmm. but what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Isn't yeah. that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Wow, And look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> all right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. They get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, <gasps> there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes. This bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope. But if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, Whoa. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> These are the biggest bubbles I've ever seen. Ooh, Ooh. bubble hug. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make. <gasps> A bubble arch, it's like a rainbow. All right, I'm gonna make one more just for you, all oh, right? Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right, do you wanna try? Yeah, thanks. Oh. Whoa, look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, get some solution on there and Whoa. Wow, it was so pretty. That was awesome, great job. Thank you, and thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no problem. I hope you're having a great time. Oh yeah. Have fun. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Whoa, she knows a lot about bubbles. All right, I'm gonna do another arch, ready? Three, two, one, arch. Oh. <laughs> 
else I can do with this big bubble wand? Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me. <laughs>
like we get to exercise our bodies and our minds. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good game for the mind. Hmm, go to the slide. There must be another slide here. Let's go find it. Oh, this has to be the other slide. I wonder what's gonna happen here that will help me play the game. <gasps> Look! Whoa! Have you seen this before? It's a stethoscope. Maybe you've seen one at the doctor's office? Yeah, a doctor will use this to listen to your heartbeat. Oh yeah, nice and healthy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a doctor center around here. Let's go find out. Hmm, I wonder where this stethoscope goes. Oh, look at this cool thing. Oh, hello. Oh, let's look up here. Hmm, I don't think this is where our stethoscope belongs. <laughs> it's really fun though. Whoa, hmm. <gasps> hey, look. Mini clinic, we found it. This is a doctor's office. The stethoscope definitely belongs there. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hello, welcome. Do you have an appointment? You're, oh, yep, you're right there. Come on in. <laughs> Doctors and nurses are so cool and very important. They take care of us and make sure we're feeling nice and healthy. They check your heartbeat. See what kind of tools are in here. Ooh, they'll probably look at your eyes and look inside your ears. <laughs> and sometimes they have you stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ooh, and look, there's some glasses. Ooh, one of my favorite colors too, yellow. And look, you can dress up like a doctor. So official. And a little hat. Cool. How do I look? Dr. Mika. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely where the stethoscope goes. Okay, let's just clean up and go back to the slide. Come on. I'm so excited to see what the next item is. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoa. <gasps> do you know what this is? It's a tomato. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there's a grocery store or something here. Let's go look. Whoa, a carousel. Oh, look at this nice orange one. Let's get on. Oh, hello, horsey, I'm Mika. Hmm, I wonder how this thing works. That's not it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. Hey, what a cool way to look for a space where the tomato belongs. Hmm, let me know if you see something. <gasps> right there! A supermarket! This is definitely where the tomato belongs. <gasps> hey, look down here! More food! Yeah, a supermarket or a grocery store is where you can buy food, like a tomato. Hmm, what are some other red foods? <gasps> Ooh, what about this red pepper? Yummy. Hmm. Oh, here's another red pepper. And, oh, I love this red food. Strawberries. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red meal. Hmm. Ooh, more strawberries. And an apple. Okay. Now I have all of my food. I have to pay for it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I can ring up my own items. Hmm. All right, bell pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. More strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, now we're cooking. Pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh. Apple. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And tomato. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Now we're grooving. How am I going to pay for this food? I don't know, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have a credit card here. Let's see. My grand total is. <laughs> 
dollars. Okay, let's see. Okay, that worked. All right, don't need any change. I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, so the tomato is with the food. Good job matching with me. Hey, let's go back to the slide and see what else comes down. Come on. I'm having so much fun. I wonder what the next item will be. Whoa, look at this, a firefighter helmet. Yeah, firefighters will wear a helmet like this to protect their heads when they're fighting fires. Huh, I wonder what kind of area would have a firefighter helmet. <laughs> Let's go find out. Whoa, did you find where the firefighter helmet belongs? <laughs> Good job, looks like a match, see? There's a fire truck, and firefighters drive fire trucks to where the fire is to put it out and save the day. <laughs> this is a really cool truck. Oh, see the big ladder, and ooh, a walkie-talkie. <laughs> Firefighter Mika here, over. <laughs> yes, that is correct, everything is fine here. Yes, have a good day. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and look, Here's where the siren is, so people know that a fire truck is on the way. It sounds like something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll put this firefighter helmet here. That way, if someone wants to play, they can be the driver and wear the firefighter helmet and look like a real firefighter. <laughs> let's go back to the slide and see what the next item is. Come on. Yes, so far so good. And I think there's another item about to come down. Whoa, oh, that was fast. Ooh, what is this, Gouda? <laughs> That's kind of cheese, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, do you know what letter that is? It's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right, the letter A. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around here. Let's go look. Okay, I have the letter A. I wonder if there are any other letters around. Hmm. Oh, I see letters in there. Let's go inside. Oh, whoa, it's a trampoline. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the letter A and there's B, C, D. This is definitely where the letter A goes. Hey, I know what we could do. We could think of an animal that begins with the letter A and then we could act it out. <laughs> hmm, <gasps> I have one. Ant eater. <laughs> Can you act like an ant eater? They do in fact eat ants. They have really long nose and mouth and they go around and they look for ants. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Hey, give me that ant back. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, and the next letter, the letter B. Ooh, I know one, a bat. Let's act like bats together. Bats begin with the letter B. Spread your wings and fly like a bat. Or jump, whoa. Kind of feels like I'm flying for real. <laughs> and the letter C. Cat begins with the letter C. Hmm, how can we act? Like cat. Get your little paws out and meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Whoa, calm down, cat. Calm down, cat. What about the letter D? The animal starts with the letter D. <gasps> dog! Can you act like a dog with me? Okay. <laughs> slide and see if there are any more items. Come on. Whoa, these slides are so cool. I wonder if anything else will slide down. Oh, look, it's one of the ball pit balls. I wonder if we need to go to the other ball pit. Whoa. Oh yeah, we definitely need to 
go to the other ball pit. Let's go. Okay, let's go find that ball pit. Come on. Whoa, a big white slide. Oh, I have to go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> that was so fast. Do you see the ball pit? It's behind me. Whoa, let's find a fun way to get into it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, look at this. It's a big slide. All right, I'm going down. See you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> I love that there are two ball pits in this indoor playground. Whoa! Oh, we just swim on over. <laughs> Whoa! This is so fun. This is definitely where the white ball belongs. There you go. <laughs> Hey, look at this wall. See the two colors, pink and blue? And it makes a pattern, see? Pink, blue, pink, blue. Do you know what the next color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Hey, look at that little car. It's so cute. And there's three more ball pit balls. There's a pink one, and a white one and a blue one. <gasps> and there's words on this one. Let's see. You've finished the game. Now count all you've done. Then go down the slide for some extra fun. <gasps> Whoa, that means we finished the game. We did it, we did it. We really, really did it. Oh, awesome. Okay, it says count all you've done. Do you remember the items that we found? Okay, we found the stethoscope, the tomato, the firefighter helmet, the letter A, and a ball pit ball. Will you count the items with me? <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And then it says, go down the slide for some extra fun. <laughs> Well, let's go down the slide. Come on. Yes, now it's my turn to go down the slide. Will you count down with me? Okay, three, two, one. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Hey, we figured everything out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Let's go. High five. <laughs> nice job. Thank you so much for helping me with that matching game. We exercised our minds by figuring out which play center matches which item, and we exercise our bodies by running around this indoor playground. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, and thank you for learning with me. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And I'm so excited because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is going to show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! Here we go. Woo! <gasps> oh, <hi. laughs> Hey, Sean, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, because yes. first things first, safety first. Yes. So let's stretch your arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. 
Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy, so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yes. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back. It takes some balance, though. So. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, How a lot of practice. Yes, how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Because um, it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. Yeah. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam and I have a silver on the floor and on the team, and on the all-around. Whoa! <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes, so the gold is number one. It's like the first place. And silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay. Are you excited? I'm so excited. OK, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're going to start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively <laughs> means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're going to start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to step up here. Okay. Here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot. But with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. Bloop. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. Sorry. You're gonna kind of look right down at the beam to mm -hmm. make sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay. Nice. Now we're going to walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're going to feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam. For the plant. Beam. And you're going to go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're going to stop. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I'm ready to the end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walk. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there flamingo. we go. <laughs> step. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Now in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It's Probably safer. Probably makes it less slippery too. Yes. So one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're gonna try a scale. Uh-huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're gonna take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. Lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. And scale back up. Good job! <laughs> that 
takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one, are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually gonna do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay. Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you wanna squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're gonna go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam too. There we go, ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay, we can try it again. Count to 10 and try again. <gasps> Will you count to 10 with us? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And okay. try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready, one, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. Woohoo! So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there, mm -hmm. and you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Sean. Let's do it. <laughs> This is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this. Take a deep breath and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym because safety is definitely first. Mm-hmm, most Good job. important. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, feel, feel your behind foot. you, and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job, let's take two more steps. Okay, one, one <gasps> two. Okay, are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four flamingos. Good job. Spot, spot, okay. spot. <laughs> Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you. You feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump. Keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was really good. That was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Good job! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've so. mastered the beam. Do you want to go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, Sean. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! Mika! <laughs> <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great. But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. <laughs> Thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, <laughs> mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great, a okay. round off. A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes, yes. that sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. 
Wow! <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. Let's I'll give, give it, it a, a try. Shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay! Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. <laughs> of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you. Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh yeah, we had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and scales. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S-H-A-W-N, Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>
and put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil and some water and some beautiful sunshine. And then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm, maybe I'll find a yellow snack. Like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? Oh, I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I gotta go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look, it's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer. And there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa. There's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and... Let's make a sandwich. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have peas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. Burger, cheese, tomato. Ooh, it's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm! <laughs> Tasty! What else is in here? Oh! A really tiny soda! Oh! <sighs> nice and refreshed! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this cool sink! Oh! Looks like there's some dirty dishes here! Ooh! Ooh! We really need to clean this spatula! So, oh! Here's a sponge! Get a little soap on there and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's get some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow, look, pizza. Ooh, I love pizza so much. Hmm, isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay, if I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have the pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and let me just slide that on here. Ooh, good thing it's pretender. That would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well, it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay. Let's see, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay. Whoop. 
There you go. And here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. Enjoy. Actually, pizza sounds pretty good right now. And, oh, yes, I do for my lunch break. Okay. Whew. And that pizza special that you ordered looked really good. So I think I'm going to have the same thing. <gasps> and there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, then pizza is so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's too hot. Ah, it's too hot. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Whoa, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color green. And this is orange and blue and green. Hey, there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slides. <gasps> That must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? There's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Blue! Light blue. <laughs> Here I come. Green. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds. And oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> N-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast off! <laughs> oh, 
I'm so excited to be in a shuttle today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right, let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm, my astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right, counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury, and Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go power and explore. Click, click. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I wanna get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. Whoa, check it out. I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? <gasps> vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! <gasps> this is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way, they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt, though. Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Oh, oh not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool, let's go. This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, Two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. 
one hole and two. Awesome. Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. Two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was awesome. We did it. We did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it. Awesome. Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs> all right, Mission Control, we did it. We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work. And I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out! An airplane building station. That's right! Airplanes fly through the air, too. Okay. I'll start with a sheet of paper, and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time, and another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Whoa! Let's go! Oh, we made it to the launching pad! The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air. Okay. Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here and we'll push this green button in three, two, one. Wow, look at that airplane go. <laughs> Check it out, I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists, too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash! And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky, ooey gooey glue. <laughs> now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? 
It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> Looks very stellar. <laughs> Okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow, do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow, okay, I think it's almost ready. I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. See you later. Bye-bye. And today, I'm in Peekaboo Playland in Eagle Rock, California. This place looks like so much fun. I can't wait to check everything out. Oh, look down here. I found one, two cars. Whoa, look how big these wheels are. Maybe they'll race. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Hey, I have an idea. What if we pretended that we were in a really busy town? There's lots going on, there's cars everywhere, and they're getting really dirty. And we have to build a car wash to wash the cars. Will you play with me? Awesome, all right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore, <laughs> come on. Hey, let me know if you find a really good place to set up a car wash. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's under here? Hmm, well, I have these two little cars. I don't know if this is a good spot though. This big table already takes up so much space. <gasps> Whoa, look at this car. Oh, it even has eyes on it. Hello, Mr. Car. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, we could wash this car too. It's a lot bigger than these. Hmm, we're gonna need a lot of space. We need a lot of things for a car wash. We need space, we need soap, we need water, we need sponges. All right, let's keep looking. I'm gonna look up here. Hello! Oh yeah, that's definitely not a good space for a car wash. <laughs> it's just a fun slide. <laughs> well, when in doubt, dance it out. Come on cars, let's dance it out. <laughs> huh, let's check this place out. It's a tiny kitchen, this is so cool. There's table and chairs and a refrigerator full of food? Hmm, but this is not a great place for a car wash. You can't wash cars in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, look, there's a sponge in here. This will be the greatest sponge ever to just clean these cars, make them squeaky, shiny, clean. All right, we have a sponge, we have some cars, we still need to find the best place for our car wash. Let's go. Wait a minute. Is this the perfect place to build a car wash? Look at all of this space. There's blocks where we can build the car wash. Oh, there's a bucket. Oh, hi, uh, do you mind if I use this bucket? 
Thank you so much. Okay, we can pretend that there's soap and water in here. Okay, and look, there's a big car that we could wash. That'll be super fun. Okay, we have little cars, we have a big car, soap and water, sponge. Now we just have to build our car wash. Let's do it. I'm gonna build this tower. And I think that's a good height. Will you help me count these blocks? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four. So if I want the same tower on the other side, how many blocks will I need? That's right, four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. See, now they're even. Hmm. This can be a little roof. Okay, now let's test it out and make sure that our big car can fit through. Oh yeah, it fits. Okay, put that there and then, hmm. This will be really fun for the little cars. Welcome, welcome to the grand opening of Mika's Car Wash. We're looking for those dirty cars. We wanna wash those cars. Oh, well here's one right here. Whoa, you've been through a lot. We're gonna clean you up. Get some soap and water on here. There's a lot of dirt on this car. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. <laughs> oh, sorry, got some on your eye there. Okay, I think it's time to go through the car wash. <laughs> okay, let's go car. Get ready for the water. Shh. Are you kidding me? Are you the cleanest car ever? <laughs> you look amazing, so sparkly, so clean. Thank you. Oh. You are the most welcome. Well, have a great day. Bye. <laughs> now we can wash the little cars. Okay, here they are. One, two. Get some soap and water for these little ones. And scrub, scrub clean. Wow, this is so much fun. Clean, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. Clean, 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 and a scrub, scrub, scrub. Now it's time to get all those bubbles off. Let's go through the car wash. <laughs> Shh. Wow, you two look so clean. And guess what? There's a special part for little cars just like you. Welcome to the bonus slide. Boom, 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 boom. Here comes the blue one. All right, have a good day. Bye, car. <laughs> and here's the orange one. Ready for the slide now that you're all nice and clean? Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> all right, buddy, have a great day. Hey, I wonder if there are more cars that we can clean. Let's go. Hey, up here. Will you help me find more things to put through our car wash? Oh, great, let's do it. We haven't looked inside the tower yet. A fire truck. This fire truck could totally go through our car wash. There's a fish up here. Could a fish go through a car wash? <laughs> no, fish don't need to get cleaned in a car wash. They're already in water. Goodbye, fish. Oh. I'm gonna go down the slide. I'll meet you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see how fast I went? <laughs> okay, these two can go straight to the car wash. So long. <laughs> Here you go, fire truck. I'll meet you there. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, what's this? Oh, 
Oh, this is a baby carriage. A baby carriage does not need to go through the car wash. <laughs> this can go through our car wash. Okay, ready to get clean? Straight ahead, meet you there. Another baby carriage. That can't go through the car wash. A tractor! Oh, this will be so much fun to clean the tractor. All right, tractor, take a break from the farm. You're going to the car wash. See you there. Let's see if there's anything else that we can wash. I found an orange motorcycle. This can definitely go through the car wash. All right, I think we have everything we need. I'll meet you at the car wash. Let's go! Boom, boom, boom! Boom, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh no, the car wash! Well, that's okay. We can rebuild it. Do you remember how we built this thing? Oh, good. <laughs> okay, to build a tower. I think it looks pretty good. Hey, we did it, we did it. We never ever quit it, we did it. This looks amazing. See, you can always rebuild. All right, I need my bucket and sponge. And, ooh, let's wash this car first. Hello, car. We're gonna make you nice and clean, all right. And a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, and a scrub a dub dub. Okay, watch your eyes. I do have some soap here. Okay. All right. Now you can go through the car wash and get those bubbles off. Here you go. Vroom, vroom. Shh. <gasps> so clean. Oh, you look so nice. Okay, we're gonna move you, tractor. Why don't you just dry in the sunshine? Oh, and it looks like you're ready to get clean. This is my first time cleaning a tractor. Whoa, it's a little different than a car. Get those wheels. Nice and soapy. Okay, are you ready for the car wash? Awesome, let's go. Looking good, Mr. Tractor. Okay, you can sit here to dry. Beautiful. And oh, what about my favorite, the orange motorcycle? Okay, Ooh, it got even dirtier because I crashed into the car wash. My bad. <laughs> Squeaky clean. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> okay, time to go through the car wash. Wow, you look amazing. Okay, you can sit here and dry. And last but certainly not least, we have our two little vehicles, fire truck and a car. I think we can wash you two at the same time. I love the sounds that vehicles make. Like they could have sirens on them like fire trucks. Woo, woo. Or they could have big engines. And it could sound like vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> okay, let's go through the car wash together. Wow! And you get to go down our super fun slide and then you'll get really dry. Ready? And now you fire truck. Everything is so nice and clean now. Five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to celebrate with a clean car parade. All right, first up we have beautiful Miss Green looking very nice and clean. You go, girl. Shh. Bye-bye, thank you so much. And next up we have this clean tractor headed back to the farm. 
So long, tractor! And we can't forget my little buddy here, the motorcycle, that went through a crash, but survived! Go on, motorcycle! And our two friends, the fire truck and the big car! <laughs> All right, later! Today was so much fun playing with you at Peekaboo Playland! Thank you so much for helping me build that amazing car wash. We cleaned so many things together. We cleaned cars and trucks. Ooh, and a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, Let's drive our car over to him. Hello, horsey. I'm gonna name him Popsicle, cause I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! Check it out, it's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look. A lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors. Yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay. Ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. 
Mmm, that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> Being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! Hey, we're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. Mmm. <laughs> Do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? <gasps> Great. How many scoops? <laughs> Five scoops? Okay, here we go. <gasps> One chocolate scoop. <gasps> Two, a vanilla scoop. <gasps> Three, mint chocolate chip. <laughs> There you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. Oh, wow, it's stacked up so high. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you wanna be a firefighter with me? <laughs> Awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small, those are opposites. How about this one? Big 
or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes, fire? On one, two, three, fire road. Oh no, let's go. Grab our hose. <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Oh, awesome. We just put out a fire. Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun. Thanks for helping me, you're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack quack, and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds, fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out, here's our patient. Hello, puppy, how are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. Wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> Oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone, let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika, so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout.